Hello everybody, I am Tarek Hussain. I am a professor of indoor and urban air quality. Uh, today I'm going to give a lecture about the dynamic behavior of indoor aerosol particles. In this lecture we are going to learn uh, how we can make model simulation of indoor aerosols and what are the factors that uh, affect them. And the first we need to know that indoor aerosol or the indoor air quality is a very important topic because we spend most of our, of our time indoors. And there is a review paper uh, about the indoor air quality and health. And in this paper, it was clearly indicated that uh, during the last decades, the indoor micro environments or our houses have been changed considerably so that uh, it is saving energy and running with lower cost. This indeed made uh, our indoor environments uh, using synthetic material and new uh, building materials that made them uh, a little bit less uh, comfortable for, from the point of indoor air quality, which means that the concentrations of indoor pollutants are getting higher and higher. And in that sense, we need to understand how these indoor uh, pollutants are produced indoors and can be removed so that we have a better air quality indoors. Um, the sources of indoor air pollutants, if we think about what are these sources, we can classify them into two main uh, types. Those are coming from outdoor origin, and those are produced indoors by uh, indoor processes and byproducts of indoor activity. Those uh, are found indoors. They can be also classified based on the activity in the building uh, and the biological sources or the combustion process itself or the building material. So we have many different ways to classify indoor pollutants. In general, if we think about the indoor air pollutants that are produced indoors, they depend on the volume of the indoor space, the production rate, the removal process. The volume, uh, if it is smaller, then we expect higher concentration of indoor pollutants. If it is larger volume, then we expect less concentrations of indoor pollutants. Regarding the production rate, uh, if there is a process that is producing more and more particles, then the indoor pollutants will accumulate faster and higher concentration are found. The removal process is uh, the way that these indoor pollutants are removed from the indoor air and they can be by reactions or deposition or air exchange, which means that we have these indoor pollutants are removed uh, either to the outdoor air or taken to another uh, material or medium. Then the indoor aerosols that are coming from the outdoor, their concentration outdoors is the main key factor. Here, if it is higher outdoors, then we expect to have higher indoor concentration. The air exchange uh, between the indoor and outdoor air is another factor. And if this process is faster, then there is a response between uh, the indoor and outdoor concentration or pollutant. This response is shorter when we have higher exchange rate, and this will be demonstrated later in these slides. Then the penetration factor is another important factor. If we have higher penetration or more leak in the building structure, then we expect higher concentration in the indoor environment. The removal process is again removing these indoor aerosols or indoor pollutants from the indoor air to via deposition or the ventilation rate. 